Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in the last video, I showed you how to prove Cauchy's integral formula. And in this video, the examples video, I'm going to provide you three examples showing you how to apply Cauchy's integral formula. Um, okay, so let's start. Um, this is the first of the three examples. Um, now, uh, the contour delta here is a unit circle centered at the origin and therefore given by the norm of z is equal to 1. And we also know that in this very first example, f of z is equal to z. So uh, we're dealing with the function that gives us output, the input. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and by the way, f of z is equal to z is an entire function, meaning that it is analytic on the entire complex um, plane, and therefore it's definitely analytic uh, inside of delta. Yeah? Okay, all right. And therefore... And therefore, uh, we know that we can use Cauchy's integral formula and recognize that uh, by Cauchy's integral formula, for any point A anterior to delta, f of A is going to equal this right-hand side. Yeah? Okay, now, um, I want to say something uh, very quick about f of A. Uh, since A, uh, although a point inside of delta, uh, a is unknown because A is unknown just like Z, A acts like a variable, although it stands for a specific number. So um, basically I'm saying that like in this formula I could swap uh, Z and A as far as the role they play and it would still make sense because uh, just like Z, A is a complex number, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, the formula is written correctly here. And um, yeah, so starting off here uh, first... Uh, notice that since we're told that f of z is equal to z, we can replace f of z with z, but also because f of z is equal to z, f of a is equal to a. And now, uh, to solve our integral, our given integral, all we have to do is just like looking at this equation, isolate the integral. That amounts to multiplying both sides by 2 pi i. And so doing that, this uh, solves uh, this first integral. Now, um, Yes, this is not a specific number, but if you want a specific number, make a specific choice of A uh, inside of delta, and then there you go. You'll have um, an actual like constant as your answer if that's what you want, instead of a general answer to pi IA in terms of A. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go to a second uh, example. And this time, uh, still over the contour delta, Mm. Although I wrote C here, it's supposed to be over the contour delta. So C is delta here. So I'll just verbally mention it. Uh, but yeah. Um, so how do we do this? Well, uh, again, by Cauchy's integral formula, we know this. Now, here I want to pause and uh, say this something, which is that like, you know, we're using Cauchy's integral formula to solve integrals. And therefore, a better version of this integral formula would be like one that isolates the integral. And so that's easy enough. Like as we saw in uh, the first example, all we have to do in the end is multiply both sides of Cauchy's integral formula by 2 pi i. And so then let's write this would have boxed, which is identical to this, only uh, we've multiplied both sides of this by 2 pi i, so as to get the integral isolated. Just easier on the i, because now we could just like look at this and look at this and be like, oh yeah, it's equal to this. Yeah, okay. Um, on the left-hand side, that is. Okay, so then uh, making it abundantly clear uh, here uh, in this second example that a is zero, um, I write this. Otherwise, we know that uh, by uh, the left-hand side of what's in box, this should equal 2 pi i times um, f of zero. Well, f of zero in this case is sine of zero because f of z is sine z in this case. So that's uh, 2 pi i times sine zero. Okay, cool. Sine zero, zero. So answer zero cool um all right so final example i'll keep our boxed formula here so we can just get right on with it and this here is that there so it's equal to 2 pi i f of a wait um f of a this time is e to the zero because well this is in the denominator uh z minus zero so a is zero and f of z is e to the z, so f of a is e to the 0. So recognizing that, we know that this is equal to 2 pi i times e to the 0. Uh, but e to the 0 is 1, so our final answer, 2 pi i. Yeah, cool. All right. So I thought these were um, just uh, the right choices of 
like uh, demonstrating how Koshi's integral formula works. And uh, if you have questions, ask me. But as I said, in the next video, we will look at uh, the generalized Cauchy integral formula. Yeah? Okay, cool. Keep watching. Take care.